This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. Brianna and Randy, marriage is a gift that comes with many blessings. It is an opportunity to feel the joy of taking care of someone who takes care of you, to be challenged towards growth yet gently nurtured, to love deeply and to receive it in return. It is about trust, friendship, and having a partner to share all life has to offer. We're doing a wedding today for Brianne and Randy. I'll show you what we're working with today. This is a really nice venue. I think they just finished it within the last six months. Um, it's a big arena on the inside. Uh, we have a ceremony that's gonna be happening out back. So this is gonna be a really unique setup today. We got some moving intelligent heads. We're gonna put some patterns on the walls. We're gonna spotlight their first dance for them. Uh, then we have some out lights on the outside. So when we turn off the overhead lights, uh, makes it look really, really nice in there. Um, we're doing a photo booth in there today. So we'll take you inside and show you what we're working with. So this is a beautiful venue. We have a very large room that I'm about to show you here in just a little bit. Um, but one of the biggest challenges is making sure that everybody can hear evenly. I see a lot of people that like to put their DJ speakers right next to the table. Symmetrically, it looks amazing. Uh, but for me, I don't really like to do that. I like to spread out my speakers so everybody can hear easily because I don't want the people in the back not being able to hear along with the people in the front being too loud. So I'll show you what we're working with today. So this is gonna be our uh, dance floor area. We have our DJ booth set up over here. So we're gonna have a speaker over here. We have a speaker over here. And then after a uh, cocktail hour and the ceremony's done, we're gonna put two speakers in the back of the room uh, to make that surround sound because our tables are all spread out. So if we just had our speakers up here, it'd be way too loud for our head table in these tables up here and the people in the back of the room wouldn't be able to hear as clearly. So by having those speakers, it makes it a pleasant experience for everybody to be able to hear. All right, so what we got in here is our totems with our moving heads. We take up lights to light them up. Uh, we put the scrim on them. I think it looks a little bit cleaner from the trussing. Uh, when we do more corporate parties, we have that more industry look. So then we'll have the uh, totems exposed so you can see the trussing. Um, but this way we can match our totems to uh, the theme of the room. And these are one of my favorite lights. It makes a huge difference in the room. Uh, so right now what we have is we have a little bit of pattern on the wall. We'll show you a little bit later on when we get into uh, the dance party, what it looks like. But like for the first dance, we're gonna put a spotlight on them. It's gonna look really good for their photos and it adds a whole new element to the room. And later on, we'll put some patterns on these walls during dinner. And then when the dance party goes, then we're gonna make them go up in the walls and do all kinds of stuff. And it just adds a new element uh, to weddings. This is what they call an open air photo booth. And with the open air systems, it allows you to get three, four, five, six, seven people in our backdrop. This is called a pillowcase backdrop. Um, it's really nice because it has no wrinkles. It goes all the way down. Um, it looks really, really clean uh, for the setup. So something special we're doing today. Let me show you over here. So what we have here is uh, our guest scrapbook that people get. If you see, we have a bunch of blank pages in here. And what they're gonna do is the guests are gonna print out their photo strips and be able to glue them on the inside and then write like a nice message. And this is what the bride and groom are using for their guest book today. So a lot of people who get this, it's a really good add-on. And then also what we're doing is we're doing magnetic strips. So most people, you know, they print off their photo, they get to take it with them, take it home, and then it ends up getting trash. This way they can stick it on here and they can throw it right up on their refrigerator. Cool thing about our photo strips is we have a custom template we have a website you can go to. You can pick over, over a thousand different templates and designs. Um, there's two by six strips. We have four by six strips, and then we have six by six strips. It's like the big square strips. It looks really nice. Um, so you get to custom design your own template. You get to look at the template, get an idea from it, send it to us, and let us know what you would like us to change about this template. So then every time somebody comes to the photo booth and they print out the template, it's gonna have the bride and groom's name, their wedding date and the design that they picked out.
So a photo booth is great during cocktail hour and after all the special dances. So today we're gonna have the photo booth open uh, for the cocktail hour. We're gonna have what is called an idle time. So we're gonna shut it down during uh, the, the end of dinner um, and when they do the speeches and then all the special dances after that is done, then we're gonna open the photo booth uh, back up. But for me, a photo booth is a good icebreaker. Sometimes dinner take, takes a little bit longer. You don't have that much going on during cocktail hour and it's a really great way to kind of engage the guests. Um, and it's one of our, our biggest add-ons that we do with our DJ package. To make your relationship work, it will take love. This is the core of your marriage and why we are here today. It will take trust to know that in your hearts you truly want what's best for one another. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. It will take faith to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. And finally, it will take a commitment to hold true to the journey that you both have pledged here today. Now. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you look for things to praise, often say I love you, and take no notice of small faults. May you have happiness, and may you find it making one another happy. And may you have love, and may you find it loving one another. So. You've come before us all today. You've expressed your desire to be made husband and wife. You've exchanged marriage vows and sealed those vows by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore, by the power vested in me in the state of Oregon, now pronounce you husband and wife. Randy, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Powers. All right, so we're about to go do the grand entrance. I'm gonna give the bride and groom directions on where to walk so the photographers can go. They're gonna go directly to their seats. Then we're gonna dismiss tables right afterwards. So we're gonna go show them how to walk in, make sure everything's ready to go so they know the cues so everybody is on schedule and it's seamless. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going um, to play the song. I'm gonna have everybody stand up, okay. say something beforehand. And then when you guys walk in, then when you guys get to about the dance floor is when I'm going to say your guys' last name. So it's kind of going to be on you. So as soon as you guys hear music, you guys are more than welcome to walk in at your leisure. All right, I'm going to let them know we're just about ready. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to do the grand entrance. We were very classy outside. But our goal tonight is to get kicked out of the neighborhood. Everybody, please stand up. Put your hands together. I give to you, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Randy Powers. All right, so we are in the middle of dinner right now. We have our photo booth shut down because we're getting ready to move into toasts and speeches. Once we do the toasts and speeches, and then we have our special dances, then we'll reopen up the photo booth. It's already been a huge success. People are getting double uh, duplicates of the pictures. They're starting to glue it in the book, write a little message in them. So we're gonna go inside, get ready to do speeches, and then we'll do the special dances, and then it's time for our dance party. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to all all of you for showing up on a cloudy, crazy September day. Um, special thank you to my family and the bridal party and everybody who made this amazing day happen. It was absolutely wonderful. Um, but yeah, thank you and let's party. <laughs>
What's going on? We just got finished with the Powers wedding. It was a huge success, especially for a Sunday night. It's really hard keeping people late. But we were able to keep them to the end. Uh, the up lights that we had, everybody said they looked really good. I'm glad that we brought our battery powered ones because we do have limited power in here. Um, the moving intelligent lights, those are really good. We got the spotlight, the first dance. During dinner time, we got to throw some patterns uh, up here on the wall. Our photo booth was a huge success. That was busy all night long. They really liked the guest sign-in book. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in 2020.